Hello, and welcome to another screencast in the SQL Server 2008 Did You Know series. My name is Aaron Lowe. I'm a Genex Senior Consultant out of the Chicago office. And today we're going to take a look at the SQL Server 2008 Transparent Data Encryption. This demonstration will be using the SQL Server 2008 Release Candidate 0. So what is Transparent Data Encryption, or TDE? Well, in SQL 2005, we had data encryption on a column level. However, it was a little unwieldy to manage, and you had to code around the encryption. So if you were querying, inserting, or updating data, you had to ensure the data passed through encryption or decryption procs as part of your code. Not to mention the fact of indexing the encrypted data when you're searching for the decrypted data, which also had its challenges. So in an effort to make it easier for admins and developers, SQL 2008 allows you to essentially turn on encryption for an entire database without any coding changes. The way it works is that the actual pages are encrypted prior to being written to disk and decrypted when read into memory. So let's go ahead and get started here with an example of transparent data encryption. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our AdventureWorks LT 2008 and make sure we've got some data in there. Oh look, we do. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and back up that database and we're just going to back it up to the file system here. So let's go ahead and run that. And it backed up successfully. Now we get to play the part of a, a little bit of an underhanded guy here. So we're going to actually just go in here and we're going to grab the file. And just to show you that there's nothing up my sleeve here, this is just a shortcut to the file that I created here. And we're going to put it into the new instance. All right. So we, now we've, what we've done is, in fact, is stolen that backup. So the next thing we're going to do now is just restore that backup. So now we're going to restore this on our second instance here. And we're going to rename it to AdventureWorks LT 2008 Stolen. Oh look, it restored. So, refresh, it's there. And now we have your data. So what we're going to do now is take a look at transparent data encryption. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close these windows down. We're going to delete this and basically start over here. But this time we're going to encrypt it. So how do we actually do that? Well, if you notice on tasks, you'll see the Manage Database Encryption. However, that is under the impression that you've already... Sorry, here's your encryption algorithm, but you basically it's under the impression that you've already created either a server certificate or an asymmetric key, which we haven't yet. So that's not going to be there. So let's go ahead and do this via code. So So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use master, and if you've done encryption in SQL 2005, this will be fairly familiar with us. We're going to create our master key here, give it a password, we're going to create a certificate uh, with a subject, and then we're going to go ahead and use our database, and we're going to create the database encryption key, and then we're going to turn encryption on. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've created the master key, we've created the certificate, and it gives you the warning about backing it up so obviously if you lose this you're in trouble so we should back it up but I'm not going to right now and now we've turned encryption on so now we can even go look through the UI here and see that oh look it's that database encryption is on so well, we can look at the properties it is encrypted, it's an AES-128, there's the certificate, which is the encryptor, and there's the date and time. Again, I said that you should back it up. I'm not going to, but this index is fairly easy, right? So I'll back up the certificate to, with a private key, etc. So, now that it's encrypted, what do we do? Well, let's go ahead and back up our database again. And let's see what happens. So, again, 
We can select for it fine. Let's get that file out of there. And the other file out of there. Okay, so let's back it up. Oh, it's backed up. So now the thief here comes, copies the file, and what does he try to do? Well, wants to restore it. Restore, make sure I'm on the right instance here, the instance 2. And we're going to restore it. Same command. Oh wait, what's this? Can I find certificate with thumbprint? Yada yada yada. Restore database is terminating abnormally. So I can't even restore this because I do not have that key. So now the natural question is, well, what happens if we do an actual legitimate backup where we want to move the database? Well now we're going to have to actually back this up. So let's actually go to... I might not have it open yet. We're back up search. So basically we're just going to back up the cert certificate that we created to this file. We're going to use a private key with the file and we're going to encrypt it with this password. So, easy enough. So, there's our cert. There's our private key. Then we're going to restore that certificate. on our instance 2. So we're going to create the master key. Then we're going to create the surface kit from this file. And as you see in IntelliSense here, description, also the incorrect syntax, just because I forgot my comma here. And there it goes. Alright, so that's created. Let's actually go back here to our restore. And now that we've actually created our key, the restore works fine. And we're able to select our data. Now, the other thing that people question is well, I've got this database, and it's encrypted. But I can still see it within SQL Server, right? But can I see it within other applications? Well, I've got a website here that just connects to that server. I say password. And all this is going to do is just open it up. A connection with ADO and print out the information from that table. Let me just open this up here. We'll host test. And there we go. We can see the all the data without any coding changes. As you can see, the main thing this is addressing is the database files themselves. Any application that goes through SQL Server, the data is decrypted as the pages are read into memory. Therefore, if you have sensitive data that only a select few can see, you still need to manage that via security or column level encryption. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the transparent data encryption in SQL Server 2008, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this screencast.